uh, or whatever, uh, allons-y, I'm yeah. off, <laughs> let's go. Yes, a tout à l'heure. A tout à l'heure, yeah. monsieur. Yeah. Oh, out of the, uh, the last corner goes Olivier Jacques, a Jacques attack in the true sense of the word. As he comes over the line, he's got three laps to go. He's doing very, doing a very, very good job here in these very wet conditions. Kawa, second position for him. He is 6.7 seconds behind Olivier Jacques, the race leader on the works Yamaha. The works Honda in second position. The privateer Aprilia of the Paget's motorcycle sales squad in third position. The number 24 machine of Jay Vincent. He is in that 30, 15 seconds back of Toru Ukawa. In other words, he's just at the top of the crater curves at the moment and he can see Toru ahead of him. And where has Nakano gone? Nakano has gone off the timing stream. No, 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 he's six. We got right. We, I, Matsudo the, is charging. There wasn't water in the electrics, and I apologise profusely. He's good in the wet, to put it mildly. He comes from Japan. What does it do there regularly in the summer? What is he? Reigning Japanese 250 champion. And now I just saw the Padgett's team give Jay Vincent the whopping great lie. They gave him plus 20 on the board. And what is it? Really? Plus 13. Oh, oh, okay. Over Matsudo now. Okay then. Matsudo here in 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 fourth position is doing lap times. In 11 seconds quicker what 11 seconds quicker than jay vincent and i tell you what there's the rostrum gone oh if he's not clever because jay is only 13 ahead of matsudo yep matsudo must have full sucker wet tires on that thing i don't know what's happened there but matsudo waldman's doing 149s toby what's waldman got on that bike wet wet ah, here we are the men with the full wets on are really getting their own back at the end of the race they are let's assume let's not assume we know do we that matsudo we've got to have full wets on yes. got to have full wets on yes because they're doing you know matsudo 151 waldman 149 everyone else two minute laps giving away i repeat 11 seconds a lap we're going to be running out of laps here for somebody is it going to be Jay Vincent? Is it going to be Naoki Matsudo? Over the line we go. It's stopped raining, but of course the sun is not out. The wind is only marginal. It's not going to dry this track. No, no way. Five miles to go in this British Grand Prix. The 250 British Grand Prix. I'm looking out of the window. I'm looking out of the window, and I want to see Jay Vincent come over the line in third position. I want to see the number 24 fluorescent orange and pink and white thing come over the line. Oh, Matsudo's all over the back of him, Julian. He's all over the back of him. And Waldman's with him. And Waldman's with him. And also... The there's a bag marker in there. They've made up 11 seconds in one lap. He's going to get eaten. Oh, third position. He's going to go oh. at the death. Why didn't they stop the race earlier? He loses third position. Oh, he loses fourth. Oh, he's down to fifth position. Jay Vincent, he had a fifth position here a couple of years ago. And he's now in that fifth now. Look the at the hair. Rouse. The hair of the tortoise means that the tortoise is going to win at the moment. I'll tell you what. How many laps left? Ralph's going to have seconds. Uh, I'll tell you what, Ralph's going to win it. There's every chance that Ralphie Boldman, this is the Lawson bet in reverse. Ralph Orban, repeat, is going 11 seconds, 12 seconds quicker a lap than Jack and Ukawa, who are only 15 seconds up the road. This is outrageous. Ralph Orban, Naoki Matsudo, charging up to Toru Ukawa and Olivier Jack. Jack and Ukawa, wet fronts, but intermediate rear tyres. The men who gambled on full Ukawa set up. Ukawa to Waldman, it's going to go when they come into the braking area, it was 12, it's now going to be 8, 9, 8, 8. 6, okay, so he's taken 3.8 in just a quarter of a lap, because that was done at the previous intermediate split, Julian, oh. he's taken, so it, at the beginning of that lap, it was 15 seconds, it's now 8.6 seconds, consternation in the Chesterfield Tech Tour camp on the uh, signalling area, Toby, they're huddling around the timing screens, putting the signal out to Olivier next time round, this, I have never seen anything like this in my life, you you weren't at Hungary 92 when Lawson did this in reverse. No, he wasn't, but Olivier Jacques has just got one more lap to go. Jacques comes over the line. There at Chesterfield. What, who, when, how, what? One lap to go, they say. Jack leads ahead of Toru Ukawa. There he is. And where is Ralph Vorman? Vorman is, is, is just coming over the line. Vorman Whoa. needs to make 12 seconds up in one lap. And he's done it because Vorman's last lap was thir 12 or 13 seconds quicker than Jack. Vorman could do Jack on the very last corner. And Carver got bolted by a back marker as well, coming into red gates. So he's got traffic in his way down the crane of curves. This is unbelievable. Jay Vincent across the line in fifth with one lap to go. There is, there is, uh, no. Now that's another one. This Ralph Foreman is there. He's going to get second position. Vorm, Luke Carver says, who the hell are you? Where have you come from? He 
can he get out of the way? So he says, up through, up on the inside of the number 23, Julian Alamont. Alamont, up into McLean's. Ralph Foreman is on a charge. Jano Janssen gets out of the way, he says, <laughs> as he goes up towards Adam McLean. He oh. gets the drive. There is his teammate, Adam and Klaus Nolis. Adidas Stafford has officially given permission to Ralph Foreman to nerf Klaus Nolis <laughs> off the track, as long as Ralph Foreman wins this race. Down the back straight we go. There it is. There That's it is. The gap. That's the gap. The S's, the loop, and Goddard's to go. Surely not even Ralph on the charge can do it. He gets past Klaus Nolis. There's Matt Sudo in fourth place and up to third because I think he's got a car. Well, he's, he's got, got third. He's got he's third. got third. Matt Sudo will get third. First time on a rostrum outside of Japan. On a TZ. On a TZ as well. Yeah, perfect. The wet weather gamblers are going to score here. We need to look at the leaders. We need to look at the leaders. Olivier Jacques, number 19, has just got one more corner to go. There he is. Number there's, down. Down. there's Ralph Foreman. White tires against slick and against intermediate front tire for rear tire. It's going to be close. Who can get the drive? I'll tell you what, Ralph Foreman can win He's it. Charging. He's charging. closing. He's closing. It's front. He's on the gas. gas. He's stolen. He's going to win the British Grand Prix. Amazing. Yes. Ralph Foreman. Olivier Jacques says, where did you come from? He wins by three tenths of a second. Even Ralph Foreman goes, oh, look at them. They cannot believe it. They can't believe it. Who car was across the line in fourth? We're waiting for Jay Vincent. We're waiting for Jay Vincent. And we look at Ralph Foreman celebrating. And even Olivier Jacques has to say, and his, well done. Jay Vincent gets fifth. That was great. I'd love to see them on the roster. That's the best Grand Prix he's ever written. And well, Ralph, he apologising almost to Olivier. Matsudo, great job on the TZ. I have to say, if we were going to see Jay Vincent on the podium, in all due respect for fifth, I'm happy that we see something else happened at the front. I'm so happy for Ralph Foreman, I have to say. I am so happy for Ralph Foreman. That is unbelievable. Hey, so some nerd the other day said that motorcycle racing had too much overtaking him. Can yes. you believe them? 